Hello, Pretentious Rider here, and this is a video about... Because third season just ended, and fuck me, this was a wild ride. One that I'm still recovering from. It's kinda baffling to me how the show just kept improving from season to season, and I don't think there's anything in television right now that manages to balance comedy and drama so effectively as Barry. Now for this video, I kept thinking about all sorts of themes to dissect and talk about. Should I mention the amazing and insane character arcs? What the show has to say about violence, trauma and redemption? Or maybe I could talk about the incredible and tight script writing at display, the constructions of plot lines and how the show packs so much in a single half hour episode. Suffice to say, there's a lot of stuff I could praise about the show. This video could clock in way past an hour. But there's one thing that I keep coming back to. Now, here's a little secret of mine. Do you know what was the scene, the moment that Barry truly got me? That made me go, holy shit, that was insane. And suddenly I was fully on board, completely invested in the show. It was this sequence from season one. There is barely a thing going on here. Bullets flying, the truck rolls over, and then it's the end of the episode. But the way it is constructed and executed, from the unique camera position, amazing sound design of Barry's screen disappearing, to the rifle shots piercing the windshield, the way it rolls over and cuts to black just as the truck is about to spin around, there's something so brutal, unique and realistic about this sequence that just... gets me. And the same feeling that I had with Barry has happened way more than I imagined. The show has, time and time again, executed action sequences that feel unlike almost anything I've seen on TV. From Barry and Roni's crazy fight in season 2, to the bike chase now in season 3, they have repeatedly blown everyone's minds, with those same three words that I singled out, brutal, unique and realistic, being, in my opinion, the perfect description of them all. With all that set up, my question is... How? How does Bill Hader, Alec Berg and the entire Barry team do it? What goes through their minds and why these explosions of action work so well the way they do? And after a lot of thought, research, hearing them talk about these scenes and what went through their execution, I managed to break them down into four points. The four reasons that possibly explain why Barry's action is so unique and special. Let's do this. If I suck balls, you are king of suck balls mountain! Shut the fuck up! Ah! Okay, this is an obvious one. An action scene is composed of so many moving parts, but none of them really matter if the camera work behind it isn't highlighting all these elements. Which is not the case with Barry, because not only the action is directed with so much precision and value, every shot packing one heck of a punch, but it also has one big element that differentiates it from basically a lot of stuff out there, which is the camera placement. Pay attention, look at the most memorable scenes. Going against the grain from most of what you've seen in Hollywood, Barry usually keeps a big frame, shots wide enough that lets you see the action play out in real time, but not wide enough that makes you feel distant. You watch Barry and Roni fight, the camera keeps track of them but stays in place, immovable, even when they fall out of frame. And yet you're completely enraptured by it all, just waiting for them to come back. Or the bike sequence, where the framing doesn't change, what changes is the chaos surrounding Barry as he tries to just not get run over by other cars. Bill Hader himself, when going into detail in IndieWire's podcast about the bike chase specifically, gives an explanation that, in my humble opinion, truly captures the essence of the show's direction. The people I think of is like Jacques Tati or something. That feeling of watching those things that were funny, but they were very cinematic and there was something very distant about them. It's like these wide shots that you're watching things kind of interact with each other and it felt at the same time like lived in. And fuck yeah, it truly does. Which, in a weird way, connects to my second point. Okay, she's not human. That's what I said, I mean, man. She's something else, I don't That's know what. what. I told you, dude. The entire writing staff of the show has one heck of a creativity when it comes to concocting action set pieces. And man, what can I say about them that others haven't said already? Like, who would expect that after beating Ronnie in a luck punch, Barry has to face off against his daughter, who ends up being a little feral beast that flies around like a spawn of the devil? Or when the dude with the machine gun on the driveway hands it over to his partner and fumbles it completely? 
or when both the cops and the Bolivians storm the Chechens' headquarters. And I don't fucking know why, but one of the cop cars just rams itself inside the tent, just because. You see, there's a commitment in the show to keep things grounded, but sometimes, just sometimes, embrace the insanity and stupidity. And to be honest, that's a tough balance to maintain, but somehow they do. All of the scenes that I just mentioned are not played for laughs. None of the characters are doing that just for shits and giggles. They're being completely serious in what they're doing. But you laugh because of the absurdity of what you're seeing unfold, making you go, how the hell does someone come up with a scene like that? You giggle and at the same time you're clenching your fists because the comedy is so well interlaced with the action. The juxtaposition between outlandish and realistic creating this uncanny but compelling effect which you just can take your eyes away from. Anytime you think you've seen everything in the show, they always find a way to double down on the batshit craziness of it all. And in result, the action becomes way more exciting and unpredictable. But that's not all, because... You're my body, you're my friend. Have you stopped to notice how well done is the sound editing and mixing on the show? Like... Is it just me or these sequences, all action in nature, hit harder than most because the sound design of them is pitch perfect? When Barry shoots the Chechens, you clearly hear both the shots and the windshield popping with them. When the house explodes, you hear a shockwave and only after a beat or two you see and hear his window crack. Because in real life it wouldn't be instantaneous, it would take a second for an object to actually fly from the blast and hit the window. Or in the bike chase, you hear the radio from the cars with open windows, mixed with the sound of passing them by and the horns here and there. I mean, you get my point, right? This show gives a special attention to sound. So much that they elevate these scenes because they go back to what I said before. They add realism to these moments so they end up having a certain brutality, an extra punch that you rarely find on other action scenes out there. And the interesting thing is that when the funny and more surreal moments happen, you're always fully on board. Because no matter the amount of crazy stuff the show throws at you, it also makes sure that all the punches, shots, explosions hit as greedy as possible. And you hear every single nook and cranny of it. Ah! Ah! What happened? I got fucking shot! So, I know this final point of mine might sound like a bit of a repetition, an amalgam of everything I said before. But I think it's an important theme that permeates most of these sequences and by this point, I feel like it's a philosophy of the series. But when I watch some of Barry's most impressive set pieces, like the ones I highlighted for you guys during this video, I couldn't avoid but notice how little editing there is. Now, of course, it's made with a purpose, but what is genius is what this purpose accomplishes. Apart from all the stuff that I mentioned before, there's an understated approach to the direction and execution of these sequences that really puts you inside the moment. Because you see, here's the catch. When you edit too much around an action scene, it might fulfill its purpose. After all, not all action can be executed in a single shot. But the result is that of a cinematic experience. Which is not a bad thing or a criticism, you'll most likely be incredibly into it. But like it or not, the fleshiness will keep you distant. Deep down you will know that you're at home or at the theater just watching something. However, Barry works on the complete opposite spectrum. The lack of cuts, mixed also with the lack of any score or music as well, gives a very special vibe to these set pieces. When Barry runs over the biker, for example, there are so many ways this moment could have been shot. We could have seen him hit the biker, we could have seen the car from the outside, but Hater decides to just leave the camera by his side and we just witness the action from this limited point of view. And yet, it's incredibly compelling. Like you are a fly on the wall watching all this insanity unfold. Another great example is the other single shot where we watch the entirety of the shootout in the car dealership. Again, we could have done that sequence so many different ways, but leaving the camera there and just letting everything happen from a distant view makes it all just something else entirely. It truly feels like the point of view that I would have if I was at the street, passing by a car dealership and suddenly all this crazy stuff is happening around me. As Hater said before, the result feels just like Jacques Stati. Cinematic and funny, distant, but at the same time, lived in. With all that, 
I hope I was able to illustrate what makes the action in Barry so incredible. When you bring all these aforementioned elements together, it's not hard to understand why even the shorter bursts of violence feel so climactic and impactful. Bill Hader, Alec Burke and the crew seem to have a clear vision of what they're doing, but they execute it in the most original ways, making it truly stand out from the flock of great TV we have right now. Which honestly, it's a feat in and of itself. Every time someone pulls a gun in the show, a pursuit starts, or a bomb becomes part of the equation, I generally find myself really excited, because I know that when shit hits the fan, these guys will deliver a mind-blowing, economical, maybe long or short, but nonetheless fucking incredible action. But what about you? What do you think of the fights, shootouts and pursuits in Barry? Actually, what did you think of the season? As always, let me know in the comments, leave a like, subscribe. If you enjoy my content, you have no idea how much this helps this channel to grow. And uh, this has been The Pretentious Writer. See you next time.